Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we will be talking about the pre-match preview between Barcelona and Gymnastic at the Johan Cruyff Stadium. It's going to be a very exciting match. And the reason why I'm saying this is going to be a very exciting match is because, no, it's not because we're going to enter a UCL final match or a UCL final match. This is going to be the first match that will be played under the great Ronald Koeman. This will be the first match where we do get to see many players participate in this Barcelona squad. Some of them are going to be playing here for the first time. And so speaking about players, I do want to talk about one player that will not be participating in tomorrow's match. And that player is going to be Ansu Fati. And it says here that it is official. Ansu Fati has suffered a concussion to his right hip during training. The evolution of his recovery will mark his availability on the field. And so he is expected to be out for around 10 days. And so unfortunately, we will not see him wear that Barcelona shirt in in tomorrow's match and going back to the coach right I think that this is going to be very interesting to watch I think that this is something that many people do want to see ever since he did get appointed we were really wondering and debating to see just how Ronald Koeman will be lining up his Barcelona squad for this upcoming season and Ronald Koeman is fortunate enough to be working with so much material with this Barcelona club and so who knows what he does have under his sleeve and so in this video we are going to be talking about the three things that Koeman must test in tomorrow's match that we do want to see and the first key point is going to be the defensive options the reason why I do want to bring this up is because everything indicates that we might potentially see the same back four that did face against Bayern Munich and that is is very alarming and right now we do have Todibo, Araujo and Miranda who are three candidates to play under Ronald Koeman. Unfortunately for Miranda he was loaned out to Schalke 04 and as for Todibo he is looked to be sold for 25 million euros but Ronald Koeman does have the chance to use these players to their greatest ability and hopefully they can do enough to turn those plans around and here's the thing right I think that Barcelona right now is in no position to buy any defenders and the reason why I'm saying that is Look, does Barcelona have money in their bank? Yes, they do. They have the funds in order to invest in a defender. But what Barcelona's plans are is that they do want to invest this money on attackers, on forwards, on right wingers, on left wingers, but they are not putting enough money and focus on any of their defensive options, which is why that it is so important to use players like Araujo and Todibo and Miranda and see if any of those three players can be a hidden gem, a player who can rise on tough occasions like this. And so for tomorrow's match I do expect to see Todibo and Araujo rotate throughout the game and I also do expect to see Miranda get a couple of minutes maybe come in in the second half going on to the second key point and we are going to get very player focused and I want to talk about two players and that is Pedri and Trincao these are two players where ever since they did sign for FC Barcelona and Barcelona announced these two players they have been two of the most anticipated players to arrive at this club for Pedri we know that he's a very versatile player we know that he is very raw material like which means that he really does have no set position at the moment and I think that that is what makes it so interesting right is that if we do see Pedri in tomorrow's match where is he going to play where is he going to flourish the most is it going to be the right wing position is it going to be the attacking mid position the left wing position we don't know but that is why we do want to see Pedri in tomorrow's match. As for Trincao, unfortunately for him, over the past two matches that Portugal did play, Trincao was only able to play for 20 minutes. So we did not see much of Trincao. But what we do know is this, Trincao is a player that does have a point to prove. Unlike Pedri, we know that for Trincao, we know that he's in a much difficult position to earn a spot in the starting 11 because who plays in that position? Players like Messi, Dembele, Ansu Fati are all competing to earn a spot within that starting 11 and I'm pretty sure that Messi will not be moving anywhere on that right wing area. But I do want to point out one very interesting stat. I really want you guys to really pay attention to this. Before he was signed to FC Barcelona, throughout the league season, he has scored three goals and provided five assists. After he signed with FC Barcelona, Barcelona knowing that he's going to wear that Barcelona shirt next season he scored six goals and provided four assists which was from January 31st until the end of that season and so what does that tell us this is telling us that Trincao is aware that Trincao is aware of the competition that he's going to be facing in the upcoming season Trincao knows how difficult these obstacles are going to be which is why that he 
is reacting. He wants to perform. He knows that he's capable enough to bring those talents, that work ethic for him to be in that starting 11. And that is more than enough to say that Barcelona do have a top, top quality player. If Trincao is aware and he can react, that will only bring good and positives to FC Barcelona. And I cannot wait to see what Trincao can bring in tomorrow's match. And so the pressure will be on Trincao to deliver in this upcoming season. Moving on to the third key point, and that is the formation. What in the world is that formation going to look like? Are we going to use a 4-2-3-1 or a 4-3-3? Two formations that have been highly talked about in the past two weeks ever since Ronald Koeman was appointed. And my bet is going to be that Ronald Koeman uses the 4-2-3-1. Because if we actually pay attention to the players that we do have in our roster, this team is built for a 4-2-3-1. And so since we are going to go with a 4-2-3-1 going forward throughout this whole season, this is the type of lineup I do expect expect to see. I do expect to see Sergio Roberto on the right, Todibo and Lenglet take those center back positions and as for the left back, I do expect to see Jordi Alba. And this is where it gets very interesting, right? Because this is something that has been debated across the whole media, throughout the news outlets, but I think that as for our double pivot for tomorrow specifically, I do expect to see Ricky Puj and De Jong run through that midfield. As for our four attackers, I do expect to see Lionel Messi on the right wing, Coutinho in the middle, Dembele on the left, and Griezmann up top. This is the type of lineup that we have been wanting to see for so long. This is the type of lineup that's going to greatly suit every each and one of these players. And then the question comes in, are they going to react? Are they going to bring in the performances that we have been expected to see since the day that they have signed? And throughout the match, of course, we are going to see other players come in. Maybe have Pedri come in for Dembele, Trincao coming in for Messi, Miranda coming in for Jordi Alba, and maybe even Montu coming in for Ricky Puj. And we are also going to see a couple of minutes from Araujo. And going back to this 4-2-3-1 formation, I am going to really pay attention to two players, and that's going to be De Jong and Coutinho. And I'm going to question, now that you are here, now that you're being put in your natural position, you have no choice but to bring the best performance out of yourselves and so I cannot wait to see that I'm super excited and I do want to bring out one last bonus key point and this is something that's very last minute and I think that this key point is going to be about that these players do need to enjoy their football because after seeing such a very disappointing season and seeing the way that we have exited that season losing against Bayern Munich a2 it would only make sense to bring new blood in bring these players put them in the most natural position have these players perform well because because let me tell you, if this does happen, this will only help and bring a smile to Lionel Messi. And Lionel Messi has expressed that. He did say in the interview, he said, my time here is done at Barcelona. I believe that young players do deserve to come here and replace me. And so that is why I say that we do have a chance to do so in tomorrow's match, to use these new young players and have them perform in their best level. Have fun, enjoy your football, score these goals, provide these assists, make these plays happen. And hopefully we get to see that in tomorrow's match. So as for tomorrow, when the game is all said and done, I will be posting a post-match review for this match, discussing who stood out, what were the surprise performances, and overall, how did this team respond to a 4-2-3-1 formation? And let me know your three things of what Koeman does need to test in tomorrow's match. Do you want to see of what Messi could do in the camp position? Do you want to see Griezmann play as a second striker? Do you want to see more defensive options on that starting defensive line? There are many questions, many things that we do want to see, but let me know in the comment sections down down below. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. This is what we do. We make pre-match previews, post-match reviews, and transfer news. And so again, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.